You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at this ink. This is from the Ink Vent collection for 2019 from last year. So there was a very short video made on this. And then they went ahead and took all those uh, inks and made them into the Blue Collection. Uh, does it say Blue Collection on here anywhere, actually? Uh, huh. Maybe it's just been called. Oh, there it is. Blue edition right there on the lid. Uh, and so you can find all of the inks that I did for 2019's uh, official Diamine ink vent there uh, in the blue edition. They're at all kinds of Diamine dealers and such. What are these little pieces of paper? Just a little, just a little nothing. All right, cool. Put that there. This bottle is actually a very cool bottle. And uh, I got this from... I forget where. It might have been La Crom de Comte. Um, I, I think. Maybe it was someplace else. I'm not really entirely sure where we got this. <laughs> but uh, somewhere overseas uh, where it was a bit cheaper than the current U.S. price, which is 20 bucks for the 50 mil bottle here. Uh, so good size bottle. Cool looking. Look at that. It's got these little feet on it. That's neat. Uh, this ink, as you can probably tell from here, is a shimmery black. Uh, it is a very nice black ink, actually. Nothing's really sticking to the cap there. You can see is the inky blackness, literally inky blackness in there. This is what it looks like on some paper. And that is, it has a lot of shimmer going on here. So this ink is uh, just a shimmering ink. There's no sheen or anything that I've detected on any papers that I've used this on. Uh, but you get two different kinds of sheen in here, I think. I'm pretty sure it's green and silver shimmer uh, is what I'm seeing in this ink, and it looks darn cool. These are teeny tiny little shimmer particles. The ink is fairly wet, and uh, I've been using it in this here pen, which is a um, Carolina Pen Co. Charleston by my friend uh, Jonathan Brooks, and it's got a 1.1 uh, uh, Yovo nib in there. These are, uh, in my experience, pretty darn good nibs, I think, and pretty medium in terms of flow, and I haven't had any problems at all with this ink uh, stopping up or getting um, what I call sometimes ink dams where the ink just like gets in the feet or something and it's like it dries out a little bit and you can never get it started again unless you uh, like dip it in some water or something or force some ink through that kind of thing but as you can see the ink is actually pretty well dispersed even in here I've actually refilled this um, yesterday to write this review because I had used the whole converter over the holidays because I thought this would be a fun ink for holidays I've addressed envelopes and stuff with it might have been a huge mistake we'll see how much water uh, water resistance it has I anticipate not much, but we'll see. I, th I think everybody got the stuff they were supposed to get. So, uh, I haven't had any problem with this 1.1 nib, and uh, I think uh, having that bigger nib is pretty cool with this uh, with this, this shimmer that you have in here. You can see through the bottle. Man, I like that bottle. So weird. Okay, let's zoom in just a little bit more here. Uh, now, I said that it has uh, some fe feather and brie... Feather and bleed on the copy paper. This is my Staples 20-pound, uh, 30% recycled copy paper. And this is that Yovo 1.1 stub nib. And uh, you can see there is some feathering here and there uh, on this paper. And then on the back, you can see there is a little bit of bleed. It's no more bleed than anything else I've put on this paper. So I think it's just fine. And I haven't experienced any uh, bad behavior from this ink, really. Uh, just remember, this 20-pound copy paper is like the kind of like kind of the cheapest junk that you will find in your office copier because it's bought in bulk or whatever. And uh, so it does pretty okay on here. I think with a fine nib, it might have actually been just fine. Okay. Uh, now, uh, like I said, gold and silver shimmer, fairly wet, I think, on the flow. And uh, man, I really like the zinc. I think it's pretty cool. I don't do a whole lot of shimmering inks, even though both the inks I've done so far in 2021 have been shimmering inks and I've liked both of them. Uh, but they're not like my everyday inks. And I don't think this is going to be an everyday ink for me, but it is fun to write stuff and have it come up with like a bit of shimmer. And you can see some of the shimmer in the words, uh, although not a crazy amount. I mean, it's there, but it's kind of, it doesn't overtake the color like you get in some other, uh, some other shimmering or sheening inks like this. Uh, all right, so let's do our uh, let's do our water drop test. Then we'll look at a couple of ink comparisons and see this on a couple other papers, and uh, we'll call it a day. Let's put some on there. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm glad I I have a habit of putting a piece of tape over important addresses when I address them with a rando fountain pen ink, because I really didn't have any anticipation of this being waterproof or water resistant, and it seems like my um, uh, seems like I wasn't wrong. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead and mop this up. See what remains. 
blot, blot, blot. All right, so not a huge amount. It's not it's not water resistant. Uh, don't be Mike. Maybe don't uh, address your letters with this. But you actually can read uh, water test there. It's a little bit faint, but you can read it. That'll darken up as it dries, I think. So that's not too bad. Uh, you can see it got some, you know, got a lot of got a lot of it to come off under my paper towel here. Now let's take a look at the chromatography right quick. That is this. Uh, so you can see obviously down here, that's where the glitter stay. Glitter doesn't move with chromatography. You see this like fun line of glitter, but, um, very, very faint remnant here. And then just black basically. There's a little bit of like maybe a, a mild purpley or maroon hue in there of some kind, but otherwise just kind of a black ink. Okay. All right. So here it is in my currently inked uh, uh, Inky Fingers notebook. Uh, thank you, viewers, for sending me your your spares because I will certainly use them. Uh, there it is on that uh, that wheat straw paper that they use in this book, and uh, yeah, it works perfectly well. It doesn't. It looks good. It's a nice dark black. It's got a little bit of shimmer in there. It's not overpowering, but it's interesting, and uh, and I dig it. All right. Here it is on a Tomoe River ink journal. You can find those at inkjournal.com. And here you can see there isn't really any, there's no sheen or anything. It's just a black ink, but it has this extra bit of shimmer in there that you can see mostly, I think, probably in this little scribble. Not, eh, you can see some in the, you can see some in the letters. It definitely picks up some of the shimmer in the letters, but it's not, as I said, overpowering. All right. Okay, let's look at a couple of different ink samples. This is a Colodex card. You can find these uh, at Well Appointed Desk or your favorite fountain pen shop, probably. And this shows off the the black uh, ink down back there, and then the uh, the shimmer throughout. And actually, it looks really nice. It looks really nice here in this little whoop, this little. Uh, a little bit down here. This was done with a dip nib back in uh, Inkvent 2019. This is day 22. I'm glad I put that on there. I think it's fun. So there's that. Okay. Uh, the other two inks, I only pulled a couple because it's a perfectly good black ink, but you're not probably buying it because it's a black ink. You're buying it because you want a black ink with like some shimmer in it. So here is Diamine Night Sky, which is a shimmer-tastic ink. I didn't make any note about when I got this, but the shimmer-tastic inks came out a few years ago. And this, I think, just has straight up silver shimmer in it. So you can see the difference between the silver shimmer alone and then uh, the green in there. And also, I think that the uh, the ink, the black that they use here for Night Sky, is not as dark as Solstice. It's a little bit more on the gray side. Or it could just be that that's the shimmer that's making me think that. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes when you have extra stuff in an ink. But that's Night Sky. And the other one is from the ink van, and I didn't say what day this was. Bad Mike. Uh, this is uh, Diamine Snowstorm, which is a shimmer. And this is more of a gray ink with a silver shimmer. So I really like the I like the green and silver in here. I think this gives it an extra bit of character. Uh, Snowstorm does look pretty cool. And if you're looking for like a gray with some silver shimmer, I think this is you could do way worse. I like a good gray ink. And this looks like it might be a very gr good gray ink with a little bit extra, a little bit extra pop there. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been uh, Diamine Solstice, uh, which I forget where we bought it, but you know, we bought it so you can too this is uh comes in a 50 mil bottle comes for around 20 bucks in the u.s and probably a little bit cheaper uh if you go to some overseas overseas stores like cult pens or lcdc or something like that and uh i will see y'all later peace out